Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, we are outside of my garage today and it's been a while uh, since I've done an update on my door. So, figured I'd do that now. Um, so, I'm probably, again, not gonna have anything really exciting to post for a while. Uh, I might try to have the Genie Screwdriver with Colored Light series coming. Probably gonna do that this summer sometime. And then pretty soon I might do that with my 3280. So, that might be coming somewhat soon. Um, yeah, so also we got a big, like, snowstorm last week. And then the last of it's still here. I mean, this is just pretty much just slush. Anyway. Uh, it's pretty much all gone by now. We got, like, a lot of snow. Uh, we haven't gotten this much snow in, like, five years. Because where I live, I mean, we get some snow, but there's not much so yeah, that was exciting, and uh, yeah, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous day today. It got up to like 60, and yeah, so we're on the outside of my garage as we pretty much always are because this door is pretty much always locked, and to go in this way, I have to grab my key uh, and come out here and then go in and start my video on the inside, which I pretty much never do. Um, I don't know. I just would rather start out here opening her up with the keypad. And yeah, speaking of the keypad, it hasn't changed. Still got the Chamberlain 940 EBC out here. There. Uh, works pretty good. I uh, can't tell because it's very bright out. But uh, yeah, there's red LEDs in here. You can really tell at nighttime. So yeah, I'm going to type in my code. And push enter. And wouldn't you know, the garage door is going up. Should go up from out here. It's kind of chilly since it's windy, and I'm not wearing anything except for shorts and a t shirt. So, it's a little cold for that. But yeah, here is the opener. It is a LiftMaster 8587 WL garage door opener with my cue that doesn't really work. I found, uh, I actually found a LiftMaster 828LM that I guess LiftMaster sent us when we got this thing because um, my mom and I tried to program it to her phone like the MyQ and uh, it wouldn't work for some reason. Um, yeah, so they sent us the actual receiver, and I don't think that worked either. Don't know why. Also, I've tried to program... My brother's car has Homelink in it, so I've tried to program that to the opener, and it doesn't work either. I mean, my brother's car is kind of old, but still. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and grab the remote since we're right here. And, uh, yeah, so here is the remote that they, these, they gave us two of these remote when we got, two of these remotes when we got the door. Um, yeah. Comes with three buttons, obviously. This is the one that does the door. Uh, they gave us two of these. It's the Craftsman 41A7633s. This one was made in August of 2017. Not the original remotes that came with this opener because this remote is actually older than the opener itself um yeah because the opener was made in march of 2018 and it was installed of installed in september of that year shut it down it's got a yellow led in it and it's a chain drive machine three quarter horse you guys know already if you've been watching my videos and then the door is an unknown type of door. Um, yeah, I'm, I see it says Mac up there. That's what I'm going with right now. Uh, I know Andy has told me that this is a Midland. I don't see anything that would say that or, say, or says that, but I don't see anything that says otherwise either, so I don't know. Um, it was installed by Cornerstone Door. It says right here, and then it says on the opener up there. 
So here's the wall panel. It's a LiftMaster 880LM. Uh, it comes with a light feature that can turn the light on the opener on and off. It comes with a motion detector that will automatically turn it on. And then it has some features here. You can go to menu and there's a whole bunch of different things you could set up. Then obviously the big button on top runs the door. It's actually really quiet for a chain drive. Um, yeah. This thing has been really reliable so far. Um, it's been installed for about two and a half years now. And uh, it's been working just fine. Uh, haven't had any issues with it at all. Uh, well, I guess that's not true. Uh, the rail was, that was originally installed, um, I guess it was like bad or something. It bent all over the place, and when it was down, the whole thing would like bend up towards the ceiling. And I know that's normal, but it did it a lot, and it wasn't because of the limit. I don't know, it was just bending back and forth a lot. Uh, I, and that's why a lot of people have told me in the comment section that this thing should have come with an I-beam rail. And yeah, you're right. Uh, I guess this is not an I-beam rail on it. Uh, yeah, and then I guess this had to be redone at one point because I guess the guys screwed it up on the first run because there was like gaps in between the weather stripping and the metal out here but that's not the garage door's fault <laughs> anyway uh we'll do a safety sensor check and it works good the weather stripping is in good shape and the light on the opener blinks because of the it's a lipmaster or it's a chamberlain made brand uh, I guess I need to put this back. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's close it down and then I'm out of here. This kind of video is dragging on a little bit longer than I was planning on, but oh well. There it goes down. It's got the uh, it's got the carriage house style panel on the outside. Uh, and like I, I've said this already, when they brought the door, they actually brought the wrong door. But they didn't bring the door that we ordered. Um, we ordered a little bit of a different one. Um, but they brought us this one, and they said we had like six months to decide whether we wanted to keep this one uh, or if we wanted to just get the one that we ordered and we actually ended up liking this one better so this is what we kept luckily it was the right size um, yeah and then we, we didn't put any of like the hardware on it because honestly I don't really like the way that looks I just like the normal door style I think it looks really good but anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.